Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest and the biggest only entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Omai, who is looking so beautiful Aww. and Ife Olu Who is looking He's so, so handsome. Awesome. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. Yeah, I said I what I you. said. Starting as always, <laughs> period. I said what I said too. Yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> just said the way she said it. The way, no. the way you said yours felt like the other period. You know? <laughs> Whichever way is blood in my eyes. So, period. Oh, oh, goodness. Wow, well, okay. I don't know. But if I, I, I beg you to maintain the energy from yesterday. Yeah, but the energy is still up and going. It's still popping. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Still popping. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Yeah. I should. Okay, you should be excited anyway, because you've been on and on about Harvey and Harvey Weinstein and how you think the justice system has mm. been really slow. But so. finally, he has been found, okay, he was found guilty in New York City of first degree criminal um, sexual assault and third degree rape. He was cleared of the most serious count of predatory sexual assault or faces up to 25 years in prison. He's expected to be moved to the prison where he have, mm. awaits March 11 for his sentencing. He still mm. faces charges in Los Angeles um, of assaulting two women in 2013. Okay, that? so for the ones who was found guilty, it's a maximum of 25 years, but mm. um, three to 10 years. So um, from my, What's it called now? From the way I see it, I think it won't spend more than 10 years in jail altogether because I don't think it'll be, they'll probably see out for good behavior for health reasons because immediately was sentenced. His chest is hurting. <laughs> About getting He's up feeling some street. type of way. <laughs> and it was carried a out um, in an ambulance and all they of that. They all do that, all but, of them. But, but I'm just glad Australia, that mm -hmm. finally <laughs> justice has been served and this is not another... A guilty person who sparked the Me Too movement that is going to go scot free. So yeah. I'm just excited about that. Even if it's one year, at least let him of pay course. the price. Of course. So I really do not care how many years. The fact that, okay, at least he got something. Yeah, I'm definitely He's looking forward working. to the 11th of March because yeah. I yeah. want to know what his sentencing yeah. is going to be regardless. Because Rick had... Island is nowhere to joke with because I did my research because that's where he's going to be mm. serving the sentence. So it's not um, a place. It's not they, pretty. It's not pretty no at all. Mm. And um, they don't like um, sexual predators <laughs> over <laughs> there. So I just hope it comes out alive. Most prisons don't like sexual predators. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are human uh -huh. beings there as yeah. well. And but, they, but they try more... to put their kids, their daughters, their family in that shoe and then mm. ask you, why are you doing what you're doing? You know? Mm. You want to say something? So, Avi. Congratulations. I, I, um, I was looking at served. the captions and people were like, oh, as Nigerians were like, oh, what's our business with this and blah, blah, blah. So I was just thinking, like, how can you find a way to maybe make this more relatable? I think people don't understand that, like, for the, for the world standard now, this is the most privilege you can find, a white, male, rich person. So it's like hmm. we have... We have Pretty it's much a made win. a big breakthrough. Just it's think about our, uh, like Nigerian context is like, let's say we're moving. Um, <laughs> don't, 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 don't give <laughs> us a Nigerian speech. context. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. let's go, let's it's go. like, it's like, mm. you know, doing like really shaking the tables here. Something that we know is impossible and you actually find a way to do, make that breakthrough. So this is a big deal and a big win for people. And, you know, it, in light of being this week, being social media week, I think everything just connects together that we are in a new movement, guys. And you cannot underestimate or undermine the power of social media mm -hmm. because what happens is that it, it makes us the fourth estate in the real sense of it because then now they have to be accountable mm -hmm. now we can't just sweep it under and say we've forgotten everyone is was in this together and taking down such a powerful man mm -hmm. is such a big win um there were so many people obviously that came out but he was only charged for 80 yeah in their dozens and they was only charged for two or three predatory um, rape and then the actual fist like violence tear your pants type things <laughs> so only just those two and even then they're being um taken very seriously it's not having any lightweight um and you can see in the uh, there's another lady that came out an actress i think it's in, her name is dana but she wasn't her case wasn't filed through because it wasn't there wasn't enough evidence to mm -hmm. make it a legal case and she was saying that she has vowed to this case and that she's going to follow up in the years that he um 
he has to serve. I'm going up to what Ife was saying. She says a minimum of at least three years, mm -hmm. which is something for him because he's already old. Mm -hmm. His life is pretty much mm -hmm. uh, at his peak. So I'm glad that people are, you know, on this story. And I, I'm, I'm excited. It's a big win. Yeah, it's a big win. It's and then win. considering the fact that he sparked the Me Too movement, so mm. this is also a, a big win, win yeah. for the Me Too movement. It's a big yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. because I yeah. feel like if Winston can get into trouble, then a little small boy or like some manager yeah, like somewhere now, that wants to come and touch some girl will think about it twice. I mean, we're already having that. Mm. I have friends now saying that I, just, I went to this guy's house and like he didn't want to touch me because you know people are like a lot more careful. They're asking now, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I don't think now. that's a bad thing. It's a good culture to Which have. Is why I don't yeah. understand yeah. why Listen. you're saying people are saying how is it our business in this part yeah. of the world because most because, of our culture of is from there. Is now being influenced by these people. You yeah. watch their movies. You watch their lifestyle. You want to yeah. do what they do. Our laws are and now you that. like you said there are people around now wondering can i touch you like this is yeah. this fine regardless of the fact that our um, justice system is not as strong as it is over there you know yeah. that you can still go down your reputation can still yeah. be tarnished you know and the people are being a lot more careful so i don't think we can isolate ourselves from, from what is course. happening this in is the now, center of hollywood is not yeah. possible. this is not going to be a precedence and an example to every powerful person that thinks they can use their position of power to do whatever they like so now it's not a case of we're untouchable mm. you are touchable you can be brought down. You can be destroyed. Because this is like the godfather of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Of Hollywood. Do you know what uh, Do you know Weinstein, Weinstein is? Is? company has done? Like I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on reactions. Because yeah. there are people, I want to see what their reactions are going to be. I'm not going to mention names. but Like Oprah and <laughs> Gil King. <laughs> I read your I, mind, right? I, I, I'll keep an eye on uh, if I don't reactions. Know, I, I, I think they might not say anything, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, no, moving. it shouldn't be about that. So let me let me just tell you what they'll say. This is not about Weinstein. It shouldn't be about them. They should be about the victims. The victims. Okay, cool. Anyway, moving on from one legal case to another, weeks after being slammed with six new felony counts over his alleged hate crime. Um, Juicy Smollett returns to court to plead not guilty to the allegations. He's demanding the dismissal of the felony charges, accusing him of starting a hate crime, um, of staging a hate crime, rather. Smollett is accused of making a series of false reports to the Chicago Police Department in Illinois last January when he claimed to have been the victim of a vicious um, hate crime attack in the city. But officials insist he staged the incident against himself to gain publicity, paying brothers Abel and Ola Oshodairo to pull off the beating. He's due back in court on the 18th of March. If convicted, um, he faces up to three years in prison, mandatory community service, and a $25,000 fine. Big shout out. Oh, Jesse. I feel bad for him. Why? <laughs> I feel so bad no, for him. No, no, hold on. Why are you giving a big shout out to no, to the legal system, because oh. um, at the end of the day, we thought this guy was going to walk scot free until the case was reopened and they hired a prosecutor to actually go over the case again mm. and all of that. Now, these new charges are out there, and um, three years in prison, if you ask me, is too small. Mm. I don't like you putting it that we say we thought he was going to go scot free because nothing is proven yet. That's what I was going to say that wh where have you um why have you been able to make that decision? And that's why I said I feel bad for him. No, because, because can you remember the case was thrown out by um what's the name again? The, Kim, some, Kim, Kim Fox um, or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. The case was thrown out and eventually but the uh, Chicago PD were like they're going to follow through. Then there was this new judge, I think Webb, who said um he's that he, he had a new prosecutor to to go over the, yeah, I think um, the case. new procedure is the web guy. Yeah, yeah. The and web. he's the one that even brought out more counts. But the, the reason why I even said I feel bad for him is because you always have to say, stay innocent. He can't not go back. Um, and I, that's why this this mm. um, line is going to be messy. So we would never actually know for a fact whether or not he was, if it was staged or if it was true, because his whole life depends on that. And if he started with I'm innocent, he has to stick to that. You know he um, has another case with the brothers, right? The brothers are also suing him for... And they've uh, dropped that. They dropped they, that a long dropped, time yeah. ago. Because he's denying that he has no interactions with them other than gymming. 
And because mm -hmm. he's already paid a money to them before that time, mm -hmm. in regards to like protein shakes and all that stuff, you couldn't actually prove that that money that he sent to them before mm -hmm. the attack was actually related to the attack. Yeah. Okay. So, um, like I said, everything is hearsay and it's him, um, my word against yours and everything. But the, the, the fact of the matter still remains that he's, he's pretty much done for, um, done like period. Uh, so, and that's why I said I feel bad because he can't prove his legitimacy and he can't prove otherwise. So, mm -hmm. Know. Well, um, Jesse, like Javi, if you've done Please the... Please don't put them on the same table. No, Please. if you've done the crime, then you should be ready to do the time. I'm not saying it's guilty, but a strong part of me believes that Jesse is guilty. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm not saying he is. The, 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 um, the um, court of law would have to prove that. But left to me, a, a strong part of me believes that. And a lot of people, a lot of Americans mm -hmm. also believe. Face your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot more, I'm talking about reactions now. They mm -hmm. also believe that There's a lot of people who still also don't believe because remember that this guy is coming from a family that is loved by America. Um, all his siblings, all the Jays, I don't know, all of them have Jays in their names. All of them have done really well and have strong fan base. This is a loved family. And I think people, are, a lot of people like, you know, on your side are forgetting that. But he has a lot of crowd that believes everything he said. He has been such an upstand, upright standing yes, member of the community, of the LGBT mm. community, of the black people mm. community, um, of people who are oppressed in general. He's, I, I followed him on Instagram. If till, that's the case, Abby period, has done a lot for Hollywood too, but he's still a sexual predator, right? Um, what I am saying is that you can't say that there's a lot of people in America, you have to speak for yourself because he is no, loved. No, and I'm, when you come to when you come when it comes to Harvey um Winston, it's interesting that you want to compare both people because Harvey has never ever um stood for any any oppressed um, party. He has put establishments there, he's done business things that are elevating he's the community. Man, but he hasn't he's not a philanthropist, he's not a activist, he's not a you can't put the both of them together. Jesse puts his money and his mouth and his actions and his resources into the black community. No, you're the talking LGBTQ for this, please. Community. I beg, no positive okay, talk for, for Jossie. Why needs no positive talk to, for Jossie? I beg, Jossie needs, needs to pay the price. Because, price okay, for what? Personally, if, uh, I believe Jossie is guilty. You know what's you know, actually, personal, yeah, because, you know, you know, actually funny? Because when we brought up Kobe's thing, you were like, the guy is there, this and this and that. You quickly, you 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 had the same the same no, si no. situation. Kobe, Kobe couldn't defend himself. Now, when he was guy, alive, he still couldn't defend himself. The case was thrown out. So what is this? So I'm saying that, look, Look, this guy has a chance to prove himself if he's actually innocent. But you and I the, know that the, you cannot always okay, prove your I, innocent. Can I just okay. say my own piece? It's mm. not long. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I mean, I've said this on this table before. And from the moment that case was thrown out of court, I felt like there was something, fish, something fishy yeah. mm. on both sides. Yeah. So I don't know how far they are ready to dig into this case. Mm. Recall that um, Juice's lawyer came out and was saying that if they really want to... Um, go back to this case again, that they should be ready to make all oh, the records yeah. public. Yeah. And don't forget. So there is a lot more going you know, on in this yeah, space that we do not know. And if people are going to go down on this and case, don't forget. I strongly believe that it's not going to be just just a small yeah. And don't forget that Google has also been dragged into this case by telling them to provide all those records, emails, and um, all every um, conversation is had mm. using that platform. But they are not allowed to talk about it or disclose any of this so the investigation is deeper than we know yeah, right yeah, now so i like the fact Jesse, and it's not just the twins i think it's, there's a bigger picture yeah, in there so to be able to say that he is outrightly picture. innocent that's why i said he cannot say anything else anyway and, and then to say that he's that. outrightly also guilty manager, is is you can't i'm not saying he's outrightly and guilty i'm not saying i'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying part of me yeah i'm not saying i'm not even I, I don't know the defense of the strong part and outrightly, but it's time for a quick break. And when we return, it will be time to discuss Simi and Adekunle Gold's perspective on feminism and parenting. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Make music 
and people are still by. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Now on Simi and Adekunle Good. I think I like to call them the feminist couple right now. Simi schools her followers on feminism as she advocates for gender equality. She says feminism makes many men feel so vulnerable because you find that um, society that gave you your superiority card is starting to know and want better for women and um, you don't know what to do. LOL. Um, if you support us, life is better for everyone. Don't be afraid. And then the husband um, in a separate post, I don't know if they were lying on the same bed at the same time, but he says, boys will be boys. It's a lazy parenting strategy. If you have a child, you have a responsibility to raise them properly. And that's at the Kulik word. Okay. Um, for me, I found a, a correlation in both of them because she is talking about how um, men, a lot of men, especially in this part of the world, don't. I, I'm not sure if they understand um, feminism, yeah. no, but I'm, I'm quite not sure. sure. If a lot of women in this part of the world understand feminism. Okay, either. let me be done though. I'm not sure they understand feminism, but I'm quite sure that they are scared of it. They don't understand how to behave around a woman. Where, where, they, where they will fit into. Or where the they will fit into. World. And I yeah. think it comes from the upbringing. It yeah. comes from how you have brought up your boy child, mm. or, yeah. of, of how you've made your girl child actually way stronger mm. yeah. than the boy child. Being strong is not about physical strength. It's yeah. about your mind and the abilities you can fix your mm. mind yeah. to do. So I, I see um, how those two, um, tweets from both of them actually right. works together and I think that we should actually, I mean we've been having this conversation where Too we tell times. people to not just focus on the girl child, focus on the, the boy, boy child, child to be proper because if you're training up a girl child and not training the boy child, at the end of the day the girl child is going to end up with a, 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 a zero trained, <laughs> zero properly trained boy yeah. child and that's mm. a huge problem, you know, yeah. so I mean, kudos to both of them. Um, I, I remember it was Chimamanda, one of my favorite, well, I say big mummies in the feminism community, where she said, um, if, if one isn't equal, then all isn't equal. Mm -hmm. So I think people, men always forget to not only just look at the fact that we are oppressed and we're under, but that there's too much on their hands as well. And now you talk about suicide rates being high and not being able to maintain emotional intelligence and blah, blah, blah. We're all lacking. It is feminism, uh, the problems that feminism tackles is an everybody problem. Mm -hmm. And then to say that women don't understand feminism in this part of the world, therefore men don't, that, 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 that ring Therefore tone, men don't what? That ringtone of saying that feminism, people don't also, don't, also don't understand feminism women, here. Women, women, women here. It's, it's kind of ironic because I don't think Nigerians of all people should be saying that. If you bring religion into the picture, this is one of the places, I don't want to say Nigeria, let me say Africa. It's one of the places where we practice the wrong type of religion. There's more false, um, um, false pastors here, but people have never said that because of that reason, we're going to chuck religion out the window. We would defend them and defend Rebo's tweets and defend and say, you have to look at it this way. But we have not been able to do that, that for feminism. No hmm? What that does it happen, happen no more? more? Like, we don't defend them anymore. Who are we, fair? We're, People we're still, our, our last presenters, our last guest was still um, trying to defend where um, Adibuye was yeah, coming was from just, with that yeah. tweet. So it's a, it's a normal thing. Um, they still try to find a way around. They don't look at these people, look at the good ones. They're still good ones. But we never do that with feminism. We find one girl that is cacking. That's confused. Yeah, that's really mm -hmm. confused about feminism. And we make her the front picture of, yeah, this is, this is why we don't support it, blah, 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 blah. We've actually never been able to take our times to understand the cause. And I, um, Simi has gone on and on and on. And I think her message is clear. Now, if you flip the, side, flip the tables to Adekunle Gold, mm -hmm. Uh, his his tweet was I, I feel like it's doing a lot of justice for that he's done a lot of justice with this tweet. I'm I'm saying boys will be boys is the if you wanted to summarize the problem with our parenting skills with the men everything that's wrong with men today is because of this particular mindset. mindset. So it really it's a point it's a it's a it's a big. Uh, accumulated um, statement that he has made. And if you break that down, it is very lazy and mm. it is 
to be honest with you, it's actually, um, I'll call it neglect, right? like neglecting, like neglecting the kid to then allow the kid to be what they you think that they are, they're supposed to be. There's a lot more that you can do for your child. There's a lot more that you can, you can allow the child to explore. I have a good person in mind that I think about our work colleague here where she brings her son all the time. And if you see the way, um, uh, for me, the way she talks about her son and how she lets him talk about his feelings and all of that stuff, if we start to all do that, we will get a, we will get to a better world. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, when I said uh, a lot of women in this part of the world do not even understand what feminism means, like you said, um, we look for somebody who is confused about the concept of feminism and we make that person the front for um, how confused a lot of women are about feminism. But that's not the case because it's not just one woman. We've seen loads of women that are really confused about what feminism is. But can we not like say a lot of women that are not confused about feminism? No, 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 I'm getting there. And I like the fact that you said um, Chimamanda is like the godmother when it comes to feminism. That's somebody who understands the concept. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of but women... But she's still so chastised on the internet for everything that she says. Yeah, be, for, by people who do not understand the concept I, of no, feminism. No, they understand all right. They just don't accept it. I no, think, not, I think not, Amanda no, is very no, clear I think, I think, on what um, she's preaching. We're so backward right now. Even we see our politicians that say a woman belongs to the kitchen and you this and the that. Presidents, you, not just No, 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 no. I'm even talking about there's this recent guy that came out. I can't remember his name for the life of me right now. That came out about something like um, saying women this, 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 that. He said something that is really against feminism, and I'm like, wow, you're supposed to be a leader. You should understand most of this concept. You should be the one to be teaching the boys how to act right around women. Now, so, right now, I think a lot of people should go with the concept of um, egalitarians, because... Um, mm. That's my opinion. Like, I think a lot of people should go with that concept because the moment you believe in equality of Why do you need people, to change? I just want to understand this. Why do you need to change the name of feminism? Why? Because it's, it's, it's almost the same thing. It's not just completely the same thing. The moment you respect every individual and you believe that there's equality for every individual, then you will begin to... Well, you know, do, do you know, do you know what... Do you understand? That's you know, what no, I said. No, 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 no. His problem is that said. feminism focuses more on female um, right. um, rights. Mm -hmm. So egalitarianism is very diplomatic, as in it's about everybody. You know what you're doing? Mm. It's like these people with America when they say Black Lives Matter, and everybody starts shouting, no, all, all, all lives, lives matter. matter. All lives matter. What you're doing is you're still removing the voice from the oppressed. And you're ignoring the fact and you're that ignoring, there, there has been yes, years every, of oppression. Yes, you know yes, what? yes, there is a fact that everybody you know needs to have you know equal what? rights. You but you what? cannot take away the fact that there's already what? a party that is oppressed. Do you know what? You said something yesterday, and as a feminist, I was really amazed when you said it, when you said, uh, the fact that I'm a feminist doesn't mean I don't want the door open for me. Doesn't mean I don't yeah. want this. Doesn't mean I don't... Yes, I understand, but it's Feminism more like... Feminism doesn't kill oh, shivering. Exactly. It doesn't kill shivering. Uh, no, but Shimamanda, who is like the godmother, said uh, feminism is the That's her personal choice. Of chivalry. <laughs> Do mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah, she said it's the, it's the death, it's, it's the reason for the death of chivalry. Chimamanda said that. So if now, I, you, hold it, up. It seems like you did you, don't even did understand feminism Did you look at either. it? If I don't understand is, feminism, you know I wouldn't call myself to... a feminist. So oh, you, you are? So, I am a feminist. So oh, I goodness. am a strong Okay, so hold on. The problem is... Feminism. But we don't all look the same. Point? All feminists don't look the same. For me, I could watch my husband. I don't think you're a feminist. And then also... I don't think. It's just my thought, right? It's fine. And when she said that... When she said that... It was taken out of contest. It she was it. given. It was a story she was telling in response to a question, and then she gave two insta instances and said, "If this is the case, then let feminism be the death of okay, chivalry." Right. She was not saying, "Oh, let it not be." That's the problem. Each time how can you say you're a feminist and say that you're surprised if feminists from this court and this court talking about opening the door? Does equality always have to look the same? We've talked about that a million times. We're not saying we want to equality. Does it have to look the same? Then what is the definition of equality? That's what. That's the question you need to be asking. No, that's the question I'm asking you. Go research that because if we say equality does it have to look the same? Then what is the definition of equality? Equality in general. Gender, in gender roles does not have to look the same. We're not saying we want to cut off our boobs and become men. That's no, not what we're no saying. saying no, that's because that's what, you know listen, what? listen, you, if you guys, that's, that's, what, that's so what you defensive. are talking about. Okay. Okay. You know what, let's, let's bring, our time is almost up. Let's okay. bring it back to what 
um, Adekun Legold and Simi is talking about parenting and acceptance of um, feminism and at least try to have our last say before we say goodbyes. Right. Okay, because if we keep going on this feminist, I'm a feminist, I'm not a feminist, I don't know. So let's just bring it, it back. I, I think we need to just do more research. Forget mm -hmm. what Chimamanda is saying, what if I'm saying, if a boy, if a girl. Forget about that. Go and research. Look around, not even research, look around you. Are things equal? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean the same. I'm not saying that I want to go um, start fixing the cars. Or and if I want to fix the cars, allow me to do that right. Just allow value. The value you See, place. That's let me the finish. Problem. Let me pick finish. And choose. Yeah. Picking and choosing. You have, is you wrong. have to pick and choose. Feminism it. doesn't you stick can. away your right Why to not? choose. Why not? What is a, a true feminist people, it, to tell you? You do not it, look, get to pick and choose. You do, if what do you, you mean? Do? No, you do. You can't choose. You can't. You have a right to choose. Equality. Equality is one hundred. If I'm saying, Elsie. As the same political, economical, and social rights as I do, yeah. then you do not get to pick and choose what, what, when why? you want what to do get you involved mean? in politics and when you do not uh, want to get why involved. Why can't I choose no, when no, I want to get no, involved in politics because or not? Because it is equality. So I the fact must that I get can involved. You don't understand means what you yeah. should yeah. be able to stand for it and not look at it as a man's job. Do you understand? It's about looking at it as, as a, a man's, man's job. job. It's but about not taking yeah. away no, see, the right I, I of a think, human I being. Even, that, this is what I mean when I say a lot of women do not even understand the concept if of you feminism. Don't if you are a man, if, 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 anybody needs, if, if anybody needs to understand, if any man is out there arguing with a man of feminism, you need to check yourself. Because we are the ones who should educate you on what our issues are. Okay? And we you are cannot, the ones you cannot, that actually listen, see you the cannot, things you go through. No, and but you we don't understand. understand. Yeah, yeah. We see them. But we, you cannot we understand it more you. than the people But you who, guys are not trying to even make us feel for you when you get to we people. Don't, don't, don't feel for us. Don't feel for us, please. Oh, you see? No, no, no. So mm -hmm. how are we going to stand? You think you can stand alone? Equality is that we should all stand together. But from your angle, from your angle, you from your angle, you want to stand from your angle. I stand yeah. with you, Not but when you get angle. to pick and choose, Just how do I even know where to um, stand? If I'm mine. I need us to understand what Ife means by pick and choose because the little example you gave just clearly shows that yeah. you don't even don't understand, understand that. You don't. No, you don't understand that feminism does not take away your rights yeah. and your choices. Um, oh. Let me give an Why example. No, no, no. Let me give an example. <laughs> I'm, and I'm going to give that example even in the space of we women and our lifestyle. So you see a woman who decides to be a housewife and then some people want to start a conversation and feel like, why would she want to be a exactly. housewife? And the feminist will tell you, she's allowed she, to. she has allowed to decide for herself that, herself that this feminist. is the space. Yes. So because you are fighting for political and social and economic equal rights does not mean that Every because Every feminist says must follow. Not, yeah. I mean, so I don't need to be like, interested so in It's politics. like saying you're giving me a definition to what feminism stands for, but you're telling me that you do not have to follow the definition of feminism. That doesn't that's make no sense. That's not what we're talking effect. about. Okay, fine, cool. It, it, so look think at our politics. You know what? Think about it like, no man no. has ever won a debate on feminism so i'm not even about to be the first it's, to win uh, uh, the fact that you want to make it a debate is a problem it's supposed to be a uniting thing not a debate it's not i about, am a feminist it's not about but you, you're not even making me Get, you're not even making me want to stand with you because we don't I am need, a feminist. Right, it's not an asking thing. We don't need to, we don't need to beg you to stand with anyone. It's okay. This episode of Tea Time. It's been a heated conversation, but thank you for watching. And if you want to watch this all over again, please do visit our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. And please remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shonkaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.